Hi friends, it's time for another virus vacation story. Today's story is, can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I, please? By Lois Grambling and pictures by H.B. Lewis. Can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I, please? Can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus mom, my stegosaurus could sleep with me in my bed every night and I wouldn't have to worry about scary monsters jumping out of my closet and pouncing on me as soon as I closed my eyes. Cause if they ever even tried, my stegosaurus would jump out of my bed and pounce on them and they'd be squashed, splat, flatter than flat. Can I have a stegosaurus, mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, mom, when you made some yucky vegetable for supper and put tons of it on my plate and said I couldn't have any dessert until my plate was clean, my stegosaurus could eat it all up for me and my plate would be sparkling clean and you'd be happy and I'd be happy and my stegosaurus would be happy too because a stegosaurus really loves yucky vegetables. Miss Frosser told us that in science class. And if Miss Frosser forgot to reserve the school bus for us the day we were supposed to take our field trip to the museum, my stegosaurus could take us. And I'd sit high on his head with Miss Frosser and all the other kids could sit up and down the rest of him. And I'd tell Zelmo Zimmer to hold on tight to the spikes on his tail so he wouldn't fall off. Miss Frosser always seats us alphabetically. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, whenever there was a parade in town, I'd get the best view of anyone because I'd climb up on my stegosaurus and see everything. And the drum major would wave at me as he passed by and I'd wave back. Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a stegosaurus, Mom, at summer camp, my stegosaurus and I would do great in all the races, thundering across the finish line first, every time, and we'd do great in the tug of war too. The kids on the other side wouldn't have a chance. Can I have a stegosaurus, mom? Please, if I had a stegosaurus, mom, on Halloween, you and dad wouldn't have to go out trick or treating with me. My stegosaurus would, and I'd be safe, really safe. Who'd pick on a legal stegosaurus trick-or-treating on Halloween when a big stegosaurus was with him? And who wouldn't give a special treat to a little stegosaurus ringing their doorbell on Halloween when a big stegosaurus was with him? Can I have a stegosaurus, Mom? Can I? Please, if I had a stegosaurus mom, my stegosaurus would make a super mascot for my peewee football team, cheering us on during halftime and thundering up and down the bleachers every time anyone made a touchdown. The crowd would go wild and so would the coach. Can I have a stegosaurus mom? Can I please? If I had a stegosaurus mom, and I suddenly remembered on Christmas Eve that I'd left something off my Christmas list. I'd jump on my stegosaurus and we'd go galloping, galloping, galloping to the North Pole, fast. And when we got there, I'd tell Santa what it was I left off my list. And Santa would thank me for coming and he'd add it to my list, of course. But mom, the most important reason for having a stegosaurus the one that really counts the most, Mom, is that yesterday I found this gigantic egg in the woods under a pile of leaves, and I've been sitting on it ever since. And it's beginning to crack open right now. Crack, crack, crack. Uh-oh. Can I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mom? Can I, please? If I had a Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mom.